Hey guys, Mike with Backyard Air Guns. Here today to start a new series called Backyard Friendly PCP Rifles. So I want to do this segment on affordable PCP rifles that are backyard friendly, um, that are, again, affordable and accurate. It's got to be accurate. If it's not accurate, I can't, I can't call it backyard friendly. So I've got a series of rifles I'm going to put through this, um, through this uh, test. Start out with a tried and true Air Venturi. It's like a, it's an older gun. It's probably, I don't know, Five years old, maybe overmatched or somebody will correct me on that. But it's um, it's like a three hundred dollar rifle, so it's a very affordable rifle. Um, it shoots very well. So I've I've picked out some pellets here. I think will do really well with this rifle. So we're gonna do an accuracy test, two five shot groups for the right pellet, and then we'll also do a little power test to see how this uh, how this weapon uh, penetrates. And we'll also do a sound test and a um, uh, trigger pull. So let's get started. This scope I'm using is the. Uh, uh, one leaf NV uh, 400 digital scope. Uh, I normally wouldn't run this high end scope on um, on a rifle that costs 329, but I use it for my YouTube videos because it records in 4K so good. So it eliminates me having to put another camera down there, and certainly uh, saves time on editing, and it brings a clear clear pictures of what's what I'm seeing through the scope. All right, next up we're gonna try the uh, Hornet uh, HN Hornets. These are 16.2 grain. Well, those were all on top of each other at 30 yards. Wow, very consistent. Very smooth firing gun, too. Um, the H&N Hornets, they did the best so far. Let's go move on to the next one. Try the H&N Terminators. These are 16.36 uh, grain. It, it shot those really well too. Let's do one more group. 800, 70. 800, 874. Wow, that's, it shot those pretty good too. Uh, hole and hole down there. Okay, now we're gonna move up to a little bit heavier pellet. I think these will do good. JTS dead center. Uh, these come in um, for 22 cal. They come in multiple weights. The ones I'm using are the 18.1 grain uh, pellets. JTS dead center. Those are in the same hole. <laughs> a dime will completely cover that five shot group up. That's five shots. It looks like it's one shot down in the bullseye. So uh, th those shot good. All right, folks, we're here for the fun part of the test. <laughs> My favorite part of the test, the uh, power test. So we got the Air Venturi's uh, bullpup set up uh, 10 yards down range. I've got uh, 
I got a penetration box, which I use on all rifles now. Um, and then I've got, I think I got a, a cedar fence board and just a regular uh, pine one by four, see if it penetrates those. So three targets and three, um, uh, the, the three pellets I picked out are gonna be the uh, HN Hornet, we're gonna start with those. The uh, JTS Dead Center, and then the um, the Jumbo Beast 34 grain pellets. So let's start again with the uh, Hornet. These are 16.2 um, uh, grains. We'll go for the uh, penetration box first. Nine hundred seventy-one. I'd sling those down. That are pretty quick. Nine seventy-one. Uh, again, I've got the, um, the hammer cranked all the way up and the uh, regulator cranked all the way up, which for a power test, you want that. So now let's see what it does to a uh, cedar fence board and a 1x4. 966 951 All right, next up we're going to try the um, JTS Dead Center 18.1 grain. Nine hundred fourteen. Nine hundred fourteen. Thirty-three point six foot pounds of energy. Let's do the uh, cedar board. Nine hundred fifty-one. Nine hundred six. All right, last up, we got the um, JSB Exact Jumbo Beast 34 grain pellets. 675. All right, folks, let's take a look at our uh, penetration test. We'll start with the uh, two wooden targets. Yeah, cedar board, that's too easy to target when clean through that. Uh, one by four pine. Yep. All three cleared uh, one by four pine. So easy targets. Let's take a look at the penetration uh, test here. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay. The first one, which would be the HN Hornet, okay, it cleared seven, it bounced off eight right there. You see that uh, there's a pellet, okay? Then these last two, which will be the, um, uh, the JTS and the uh, JSB, both cleared eight. <laughs> And both bounce off a uh, number nine. So, penetration score for the Air Venturi is a score of eight. Cleared eight quarter inch slats of uh, plywood. All right, next up, we're going to do the uh, trigger pull test. Thirteen point three ounces. So, um, yeah, trigger is really really good on this. Hey, folks, we're here to wrap up this um, summary on the um, Avenger Air Venturi bullpup. Uh, this was not a full review. This this gun's been out for many many years, so I'm sure 
There's tons of videos out, out on this gun as far as the floor view. This, this was just me putting it through the test to see if it qualifies as backyard friendly. In order to be backyard friendly, it's got to be affordable. It's got to be accurate. Uh, it meets both those criteria. So um, it's it's really accurate. I mean, like stupid, stupid accurate. Okay, so this is the first uh, bullets that we shot. This is one I eliminated. This is the red, uh, red fire. Took that out. Then all the others, basically, you can put your thumb over all those five shot groups. And then I went and shot some really heavy slugs in it, 34 grain uh, jumbo beast. And it's, it's hole on hole at about 38 foot pounds of energy. So uh, it's not it's not pellet picky, okay? Pretty much any pellet you throw at it, it's gonna shoot accurately. And again, this is 30 yards down range. So uh, very, very accurate um, rifle. It's uh, it's quiet too. I, I did a, a decimal, decimal meter on it and it averaged over three shots, uh, 89.4 decimals on the perimeter of my backyard. That's that's quiet because we've already done the test. If you go over one backyard, you lose about 20 decimals. So that, that would put that around 69 decimals, one backyard over, which is uh, certainly backyard friendly. Um, it's feature packed. It's got, um, you know, for the price, it's got an externally adjustable hammer spring, you know, just a tool and a, uh, a, a externally adjustable um, a regulator. So you don't need to take the gun apart to adjust either one of those. Those are usually options found on much higher end guns than, uh, than this uh, Air Venturi. So that's a really nice feature. Um, it's advertised at 930 feet per second and 34 foot pounds of energy. I demonstrated it'll exceed both those. Um, it's got a 300 bar um, tank that, that you can fill fill up to 300 bar, which is like 4350, which is really nice. Uh, 180 cc tank. It's got dual gauges on it, so it's got a regulator gauge and it's got a tank gauge. It's got pick rails all over it, so you got obviously you know not Weaver, but Picatinny up here for your scope. Picatinny on the side, Picatinny down here on the bottom. Um, it comes with two mags and a shot tray. Um, and then you get the price. I found this at, uh, at the pellet shop for $329, um, which is a great price. It, it, it's a great price for a great gun. So this gun makes my cut for backyard friendly. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks, folks.